Yo, what's going on, you guys? Your boy Pony Mountain, and in this video, we're gonna be going over how to play max coverage if you're running zone in Madden 24. This has been a video that a lot of people have been wondering and curious about because man coverage is literally the meta, and it's kind of frustrating when everybody and their mom is running man coverage literally every single play. So, in this video, we're gonna show you guys how to run zone coverage to to the best of its ability. This is max protection kind of situation. So if, if it's a situation where they have to have a pass, this is going to be your bread and butter if you are trying to run zone. Now, before I get into it, if you guys are new to the channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment down below, anything you might you guys might be struggling with or anything you guys might want to see on the channel and become a part of the Noti Gang, Noti Gang, and Noti Gang. And if you have nothing to comment, well, just comment FTA because it's for the algorithm and it helps push these videos to more and more people. Quick shout out to the FTA squad, the FTA gang, my boy Dean in the comment section one more time. Much love, much love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And for those of you guys who don't know why we do this, um, it actually it boosts our channel up. It, it pushes the videos to more and more people so that more people who are struggling with Madden might be able to help out. Now, in today's video, we're going to be going over the simplest way for you to play zone coverage in Madden 24. Now, Mind you, I will I will preface this by saying that zone coverage is not the greatest. Some competitive players, some pro players will will just simply torch you nonstop, even if you are in zone. It's good to always mix up your coverages. But in this video specifically, we're not going over any kind of blitz. We're just simply going over a concept that you guys will, will be able to use in a, a lot of different playbooks. To just run zone coverage. Now, let's make it let's keep it simple. And we're going to go ahead and show you the coaching adjustments. You're going to want to turn auto flip defensive play call on. And you're going to want your auto alignment set to base. Then you're going to go down here and turn your zone coverage on to match. Yes, we are playing a variation of match coverage because we're playing zone. Now, what you're going to want to do is go into your playbook and find any play that could potentially be a matching situation like a cover three seam or cover four drop you're looking for a cover four that's that's the general ruling for this is you're looking for a cover four play to run this out of so if we're running this out of nickel two four nickel two four we're gonna run cover four quarters why not let's just call that for the sake of this play and on the offensive side we're just gonna call a random trick random flex tray now first things first we are going to want to pinch everybody. If you want, you can even show blitz so the safeties come down to help out even more. Then you're gonna wanna shade underneath, okay? Stay with me. Then after that, you're gonna wanna take your two safeties, put them in deep halves, okay? And then since this guy is one of our linebackers, we're gonna end up using him. Now the whole gist of this is to play max pass protection. OK, that is how we want to play this. We want to play max pass pro. So since this guy, this this is our linebacker here, we're going to use him. And instead, we're going to take this linebacker out here and we're going to put him in a hard flat. Again, we have hard flats out on the field. We, we have four deep zones. We have a three rack. And our job is to pretty much utilize anything that's going up in the deep middle of the field all the way down up to here depending on where the three rack plays now most of your for formations might not have a three rack but this one will now what this is going to do this is going to make it so that and yes we're going to bring up the squigglies for this this guy's going to follow him since he's the number one receiver this guy's going to follow him and then our hard flats will play hard flats and so we're running a hybrid version of a cover two essentially uh where we're doing a hybrid between match coverage and regular zone um i i very i like these kind of situations simply because it, it's confusing for a person to get comfortable with because once they think that they're that you're running zone coverage they think that they can beat you with certain routes and in this defense it's going to be a little bit a little bit difficult to do that so we're just going to call a hike just to showcase exactly what happens here as you can see everything was clamped up now mind you you can take one of these guys that you might have uh let me just show the replay real quick because everything was kind of bagged up you can take one of these guys that you, that you might have on the line and put them in a in a spy if you're nervous about a mobile quarterback but again these are for passing situations mainly and as you can see because these guys are in outside quarters this guy ends up instead of going all the way up the field 
he's there to guard that and the reason why we put the deep blues behind it is simply because if they try to run like a deep corner route you need a body back there to help your to help yourself out as much as possible as you can see he kind of baited he kind of baited this route even though he's in a deep blue he baited the he baited the corner route so if they throw that route that's a pick they throw this route that's a pick they throw this route that's prop might be swatted depending on how fast they throw it if they throw this route that's a pick as well you're locking down pretty much everything when it comes to this and all you have to do is come out in a cover four with some kind of with some kind of matching principle that's pretty much it so again we're going to show blitz here just to put our guys in in deep halves you can leave that guy in a in a quarter flat he'll keep his matching principles which means that he'll end up matching up on one of these guys one of these guys here which means that he might end up getting clamped up completely again we have our user here and one thing that you can do with this three rack instead of leaving him in a three rack some people like three racks because he'll end up shading over one of the guys that's on the right side instead of sh keeping the three rack if you want put this guy in a mid read what this is going to do this is going to lock down this entire section of the field right here so it's going to prevent people from thinking that they that they have a, an easy shot in the middle of the field here unless they're going all the way deep and again, you won't really see reads like that from players who aren't that good at the game. You'll see reads like that from, you know, experienced pro player kind of situations. And as you can see, everything is clamped up except for R1. That's my that's my that's my assignment. But as you can see, everything, everybody has a bot. Everybody got a body on him. Now, I know, obviously, the, the, the pass rush is non-existent. So a huge tip when it comes to this, and I'm, I'm, I'm just going to let it fly here. What a laser. A huge tip when it comes to trying to get a pass rush from the defensive line, especially if you're only sending three, is pass commit. So for those of you guys who don't know how to pass commit, you press R1 when you're on defense and it says guess play. You're going to move your right stick up because you, you, want, you want your defense to guess pass. This is going to create a better pass rush from your defense and they're going to go absolutely crazy when it comes to this so again let's go over it one more time and do the individual adjustments for those of you guys who are new to madden and trying to lock down some people let's call time out and we're going to do everything step by step one more time and you are going to you, you're going to be on your way to locking up cer certain people now let's not forget you have to send pressure pressure will bust pipes it will be something that will confuse your opponent and when you do that you need a setup like this you need a setup you need a setup like this to simply set up the type of pass coverage that you're doing. So you're blitzing, 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 and then you set this up, and then they'll they'll have nobody because they'll start blocking their running back, blocking a tight end, blocking two people, blocking three people, motioning over to block. This is gonna help you in so many in so many ways. So let's go ahead one more time. Coaching adjustments: set auto flip defensive play call to on, auto alignment set to base, turn your zone coverage on to match. Then you're gonna call a a cover four so co a cover four quarters cover four palms um sometimes regular cover four still does like the matching stuff but unfortunately sometimes it doesn't and that's why i'm not going to tell you guys to call just like a cover four drop show so cover four quarters is going to be the main and every every playbook has one and then we're going to go ahead and call a random play and then Depending on the, the kind of formation, you're going to want to either press or show blitz. So we're going to press triangle or Y if you guys are on the Xbox. And you're going to either press, which is moving the left stick down. And that's just going to bring all your corners and your safeties all, all the way down. Or you're going to show blitz, which is triangle, and then move the left stick over to the left. And obviously, this to me is a better option because these guys end up being brought down. So your safeties get brought down, which actually helps you out sometimes. Now, again, you want one of your yellows. Since this guy's already in a yellow, we're going to leave him alone. We're going to take one of these guys that's on the left side, since we're going to end up using one of these two guys, and we're going to put this guy in a hard flat. Now, if I was doing actual adjustments, these guys would end up being linebackers instead of Aiden Hutchinson here. So again, you're going to go go you're going to go up to this defender here. You're going to press X or A, and then you're going to move the left stick to the left because it's going to put that guy in a hard flat. Then take your two safeties and put them in deep halves okay now your two safeties are now in deep halves and then you're going to want to shade down and inside crucial crucial tip you want these two safeties here to shade towards the inside and potentially 
absolutely bag up any routes that are going towards the middle of the field. So to do that, you press triangle. We'll go to them, press X, and then it's going to be move your left stick up and it puts these guys in deep halves. You can even move them inside to kind of help to kind of help confuse your opponent a little bit more um, because they'll start trying to throw over the top on the outsides because you know that's how that's how madden players are they see they see devin hester pressed and they're gonna they're gonna try to throw it over the top and unfortunately you're gonna be there with double coverage and that's gonna be frustrating for him so this is it this is going to clamp up a lot of people and it's gonna help you out tremendously as you can see everything is bagged everything everybody's got a body on them and that's exactly what we want everybody's got a body and that is max protection max coverage and do not forget and i always forget to say this pass guess pass play okay this is probably the most important thing because you want the d line to sit there and play as as aggressive as possible because you're sitting there sending pressure non-stop right you're sending pressure 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 and then out of nowhere you let that pressure go and then you're sending either four or five like you know then you're sending three and if you guys want to just send four your user here is going to be the one that's going to be responsible. Let me go ahead and show blitz here. Your user is going to be the one responsible for the D, the the outside the outside here. So if this is this ends up being your user, let's shade underneath too. If this ends up being your, your user, now instead of instead of the the hook being your your responsibility, this guy is going to be your your responsibility, and that's going to change the entire outcome of the play. Because sometimes you'll get better block sheds, and that's going to frustrate your opponent regardless. My name is Tony Montana. Hopefully, this helps you run zone way better. And you know, a Pony Montana video is not a Pony Montana video without the squiggly. So appreciate you guys for tuning in, man. Hop in zone. Let me know how it works. Let me know if you guys have any tips. Leave it down in the comment section. If it's a good tip, I'll pin it for whoever is trying to run zone themselves. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next one, man. As always, two fingers, deuces, and peace out, you guys.